Hi, everyone. A common question I get is why is it so important to import values? Importing values is bringing in data and information into other documents from other documents that are tied to your app file. So it shortens your input of all the information. One way that's really important to kind of take full advantage of this is in your form values link. When you click on form values, you'll notice there's a window that has all of these forms that you're going to continuously use throughout your experience with app files. Um, an example of this would be your buyer brokerage agreement. You're going to reuse this document. If you go to six of 10, you'll notice there is some pre-filled in information that I filled in in myself as an agent. This is data that I can bring into other documents like my purchase and sale agreement. I'll show you how this works. So first thing is important is to go into your form values and pre-fill in as much information on these documents you normally use, okay? From here, I'm going to bring up an existing template or app file that I have, knowing that I need to import values into it. So some other areas you can grab data from is your open folder to begin with, and also your master buyer template and your lender information on the right side. This is more data that you can captivate into other documents. I'll show how this works. So I pre-filled in my master buyer over here and my lender information. I'm gonna open up my purchase and sale and I want to fill in this purchase and sale with information so that I don't have to write it all. This yellow button at the top is your import values button. When I click on it, it gives you four different options to pull in data into this particular document. The first one right off the bat is your import from a form. When you click on this, you'll notice one of the documents I just showed you is right here, the buyer brokerage where I filled in those values of myself as an agent and my information from my office. When I click on the checkbox next to it and say choose, these 11 values are gonna be pulled into this purchase and sale, which means I don't have to write them. And they're always right because they're about me. I'll scroll down a little further and I'm gonna click start import. It confirms that these 11 values will be brought into my purchase and sale. If I want to add more imports, I can click perform another import. And this time I can import from info fields. When I click on this, you'll notice that to my right of my screen where I showed you the master buyer template that I had filled in, there are 12 values that I can bring into this purchase and sale so I don't have to fill it in. Use them at your own discretion based on how much you fill in. I'm going to click choose and you'll notice these are the items that I have pre-filled. If you've already have these values filled in, they will show you that there's a conflict. And if there's a conflict, you can just deselect the items so they don't import. Pretty simple. Start import. This information will also come into this document. Another import option is from FMLS or Georgia MLS, which is excellent. It's a very easy way to get the listing information into your document. When I click on import from FMLS, all it's going to ask me to do is put in the FMLS number. So I'll type in this example listing to show you how the information comes in. So I typed in the FMLS number, I click search. You'll see the listing is now visible. I'm going to choose this listing and this valued information will come into my document. Now, if there's anything that's conflicting, you can deselect it by unchecking the box next to it. But if this information is right and you want to bring it in, you're just going to scroll down to the bottom. You're going to, you're going to acknowledge that the external data is correct and you're going to start your import. These values will be added to my purchase and sale. When you have all your information in front of you, you can click done, and you'll notice the information that I have been selecting as imported values have been added to my purchase and sale. So in the end, the most important part is to fill in where you can in advance, like your form values or your master buyer template or your Lender information, go ahead and get it pre-filled and as you're going, knowing that you're going to import these values to make your life easier. I hope this helps. Everyone have a great day.